ready to burst, ready to add, ready to explode. This is what's going on. So, hey, it's, it's his money. Personally, I would not invest in this company unless I see, a, uh, I see that it has been going up. I see that right now there's no sign that it's ever going to go up. Never showed a sign. Never, not even in the past. Like, maybe they're just going to keep on going down. Maybe that's just the way this company rolls. And maybe it'll go out of business or become a penny stock soon. Who knows? It's totally possible. So, anyways, there's my review. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And check out my videos. And thanks for watching. We can see that if you would have invested from the start. To, with, from January 2017. If you would have took $10,000. And you would have invested it in ELF. Versus if you would have invested in the Vanguard S&P 500 index. What you would have gotten is you would have lost 8,000 with ELF. But if you would have grown money with the, with the 500 index. The issue with ELF is not only is it... 50% correlated with the market but the sharp ratio and the Sartino ratio are negative this is a bad news it grows on average of negative 44% on average negative 45% close to negative 45% this is not good this is what I'm talking about And then Jeremy says it won't be hurt in a in a recession. People stop spending in a recession. People stop hoarding their money. That could have really hurt this company bad. And this company is 50% correlated with the market. This is why I disagree. I wonder what got Jeremy inspired into this company. Just because it's affordable. Just because it's cheaper now than it's ever been. It seems like it's gonna keep keep becoming cheaper. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hit that smash button. Hit that like button. And see you next time. We can see that ELF is cheaper than its competitors, uh, competitors and it has an upside to this price target and it's also profitable. So that's the good news about ELF Beauty. The bad news, the bad news is that there's no growth forecast. So this is a sign of weakness in this company. On top of that, on top of no growth forecast, 